Morning! Just me and Andy this morning. My dad's gone off in the lorry already. Um, it's not looking like it's going to be a fantastic day, is it? There's a lot of cloud there, but we'll be alright. In fact, Andy's there, look. He's setting off, he's growing up. Like we do every day. So, it's about time I jumped onto the TM and we'll get some cows fed. Well, what's this? My brother's here. going on? <laughs> He's got his dog. Andy's getting backed up onto the bales with his nice shiny teagle that M washed yesterday. So it looks like Ben's been shooting pigeons. Have you not? What, somebody give him here? Yeah? So he's uh, preparing him with the dog. What are you now? Pigeon pie? Fried pigeon with butter. Lovely. Anybody else like eating pigeon? I can't think. I think I might have had it before, but it's a bit strong, isn't it? Isn't it strong? You can't get it in Marks and Spencer's. You what? You can't get it in Marks and Spencer's. Can you not? So you don't have it, do you? Well, I don't have it because yeah, you can't have it. Yeah, it's not in Marks Spencer. Says the man with the discovery! Hey! I don't shop at Marks Spencer's. I'll tell you where I do shop. It's behind us somewhere here. Aldi. But yeah, Pigeon is a bit strong and um, I think all games are a bit strong. I'm, I'm, I'm right there, aren't I? Saying it's strong tasting. Gaming. 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 I think basically he's come here to do it so that uh, he don't get done by the wife for making a mess in the garden. <clears throat> Guessing that's what it is because we have fuel feathers everywhere. Right, I've got a few more places to feed and then I've got to give Andy a hand and he'll have to give me a hand with the gates. Andy will get these strawed up now. More nice and clean again. Spread a bale now, me and Andy, to straw up down the bottom. Then we've got a few cows to get out and then Andy can get off. Andy's getting ready now. He's going to the Heights of Abraham. But I've just noticed, Em's washed the Teagle off. It's now says Teague. How disappointing. <laughs> the Heights are you, Andy? No. Good. Oh, the heights of Abraham. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Karen never said about this. No, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think it's a cable car, is it? Do you get to go skiing on the way back down? Or? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been skiing? Uh, snowboarding. It's a snowboarder. I, I went skiing with school. And then he was with Sheffield Ski Village a bit. Uh, that's quite a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like it, yeah. 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 So, take your skis up there. Yeah. Alright, All right. enjoy, bye! Yeah. Now that we've got feeding up finished, um, I'm just going to head over to school fix because I need to get a radiator because we're uh, a new radiator in the house. But, you didn't really need to know that, did you? But anyway, um, I just jumped into the paddock here and look what I found in this warm wet weather. We've got some mushrooms coming. Lots of them as well. Look at this. So it's going to be time for mushroom soup. Let them grow a little bit bigger. Kid, that was just what I love doing, like this time of year. Like going out with my granddad, picking some mushrooms, and then peeling them, peeling the skin off the top, and, uh, and cooking them. Yeah, good times. So. Yeah, I can't wait till these get a bit bigger and um, come with me knife and do some picking. Business. Everybody starts, they're not magic. <laughs> these ones mind me though. Yeah, 
yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fancy eating them. Some some fungus expert will tell me what that one is, but I, I wouldn't touch them. Just got back from getting the radiator. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to jump on the mixer because we need to do a bit of a pre-mix. I don't think we'll need to do a mix full today. Hopefully we'll have enough, but uh, yeah, pre-mix needs doing. So this is why Andy is just fantastic. So yesterday he, um, he sorted all the bales out, look, like that. So we wrapped them, cut the bands. Everything ready for me. Um, so that all I have to do is turn the mixer on and just tip them in. I don't have to mess about taking the wrap off and all that. Good thinking there, Andy. Well done. Made my life easy. That's what I like. It's all purring away there, just warming up and spinning round. I'll go and get the TM. I've noticed with the TM this morning, and Andy's noticed as well. We've got a damage fairy again. It's a good whack. I'll have to find out where that's that's happened. Not that it'll resolve anything, but anyways, in here. So I've tipped the silage in, just getting a bit of hay in there. And the whole crop. A little bit more hay needed. Someone was asking yesterday, um, gave me a, a call and said, which do I prefer, the TM or the 9 meter? It's TM, all the way. Uh, visibility all round, much better. Um, the ability to just be able to turn the front end and get around things, just makes your, your, sort of your footprint a little bit smaller. Because you can bend around things a little bit more. Um, and yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm used to it. Maybe that's the thing as well. So I'm gonna head up there and chop some wood again. Um, just try and keep active for a little bit before dinner, 10 minutes before dinner, and then can have my big full Sunday dinner, can I? If I've done 10 minutes with axe. That's right, innit? I've just finished my Sunday lunch roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, all that business and I've just got the passports for some cows that I've got to take in now in the Scania so a little trip out today Sunday drive I'm all ready to set off eating my dad's sherbet lemons as well I, you know me as mints but sherbet lemons are nice aren't they? not really into mints that much anyway, onwards but seeing as I am passing our local open farm services I thought I'd just take a look at something special I've got in the car park. They'll probably come out and find me in a minute because uh, they think I'm snooping around. But um, check out that beast. What a weapon. Mazotti MAS 4080. By John Deere. I could do the birthday bumper on this. <laughs> yeah, it's tied with that, isn't it? Let's look in the, let's look in the cab. Oh, it is like a John Deere cab inside, look. Flash. To have a word with Matt, see if he can fetch this on farm. Let me have a little play with this. I don't think it will, but um, it's nice to dream. Oh, look at the clearance it's got. Like, oh yeah, I can just touch the bottom of like that. Some beast. Oh, we got a mini. Well, you tell me what this is. Tell me in the comments what this is. Lots of tractors in. 210R. Same as what we've got at home. Oh, a good rake. Uh, not rake, tedder. If anybody wants that? I know where you came from, a good home that one did. Sure did. 7 out of 3.30, nice. 
what I'm most impressed about this thing. Look at the nozzles. So you see you've got a red thing there. Mine's got three. So you can turn it and that's got five. So you can have five different nozzles on there. Fancy. Reversing camera at the back. Yeah, well, it's a nice machine, that. I like that. What I'm surprised about, though, is these are all LED by the looks of it at the top there. But then these are like back old school. I mean, that one's a. Yeah, that's old school, aren't they? You'd think they'd put them as LED, wouldn't you? Side ones are, though. Mm, bizarre. Anyway, very nice just got back into the yard now in the Scania Boost and all the gates are shut. So I'm guessing my dad has done the feed nut, which is fantastic. Means I can finish and go home now, which is brilliant. Um, so if you've liked today's video, please press that like button because it really helps us out. Subscribe if you've not already. And me, Em and Andy, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Business.